welcome students today we will draw isometric view of cylinder of diameter 50 mm and height 60 mm so let us see the steps we require for isometric view of cylinder the very first step is that we should draw a small horizontal line of around 20 or 30 mm so over here i have drawn small horizontal line of 30 mm and i have kept it thin then after that we will mark a point on this line and we'll put our protector at that point to draw two lines at 30 degrees on both sides and we call those lines as isometric axis so let us mark 30 on this side and let us mark 30 on other side so after that we will align our scale with this point and to that point and we will draw a continuous thin line over here that is the first isometric axis we, we can take any length at the start then align your scale with this point and that point marked by us and draw second continuous thin line this is the second isometric axis after this we will see the diameter of the cylinder given in the question diameter of the cylinder given to us is 50 mm so next step is that we should cut these two lengths to 50 mm so let us use compass and let us open compass to 50 mm and let us cut these two lengths to 50 and draw a thin curve on both sides then use this intersection to mark another curve by same radius that is 50 now use this curve and mark another curve at same radius that is 50 and that will intersect with the first curve we will get an intersection then what we will do we will connect these two intersections with another continuous thin line same step we will follow for these two intersections let us draw continuous thin line between these two intersections so this is isometric of a square of 50 mm now after this we have to draw this base of the cylinder that is an ellipse so for that we have to apply four center method so over here we have four corners 1 2 3 4 out of these four corners we will pick those corners where angle is more than 90 degree so this is the first corner this is the second corner at these two we have angle more than 90 degrees so let us call this as center number 1 and this is center number 2 then after that we will locate the midpoints of these four sides and we know the length of each side is 50 so we have to open compass to 25 mm and place your compass at this point and cut both sides to 25 mm now place your compass at this intersection and cut this length to 25 and mark the midpoint of this side in similar manner so after marking the midpoints of these sides we will apply four center method so from first center draw continuous thin line to the midpoint of opposite side so these two sides are opposite sides 
so from this point draw thin line to midpoint of this side first so this is four center method then from same center draw another thin line to the midpoint of opposite side then do the same step from this center for this center these two sides are opposite sides so from that center draw thin line to the midpoint of opposite side and from the same center draw to this midpoint continuous thin line so in this manner we will create two more centers so these two intersections are center number 3 and center number 4 now in the next step we will create or we will draw this ellipse so for that what we have to do we have to draw four arcs first of all place your compass at this center and open your compass to this radius and draw curve between these two points and keep it thin why we have to keep it thin because it is behind this curved surface so that will be hidden so we will keep that thin after that use same radius and place your compass at this center and open compass to this radius which is will be same and draw curve between these two points and it must be thick draw it carefully and we have to draw a thick curve now after this we will use this intersection and we will take this radius and you know if everything is correct over here then these two distances this distance and this distance will be same so you can use any distance as radius so place your compass at this center and open to this radius and connect the previous two curves with the third curve similarly on other side use this center and draw fourth curve which will connect the other two curves so after this what we will do we will draw a box over here because after drawing the base of the cylinder we need to draw its top also but that will be at a height of 60 so for that we have to draw a box isometric of a box so let us draw isometric of box now so erase these extra lines first so in order to draw isometric of this box what we will do from these four points we will draw vertical lines continuous thin lines of 60 mm so let us start from this point first so align your scale at this point and align your scale in vertical position so this is a very important step so align your scale in vertical position carefully see distance between the dot and scale at the bottom and at the top it should be approximately same so from this point sketch a continuous thin line of 60 mm which is equal to the height of the cylinder mentioned in the question then similarly from this point we will draw continuous thin line vertical line and it will be of 60 mm then from this point we will draw continuous thin line vertical line of 60 mm then from this point draw continuous thin line of 60 mm and you will find that this line is exactly 
aligned with this vertical line so from this point draw a continuous thin line of 60 and it will end up to this point then join these four points or these four ends of these four vertical lines with continuous thin lines so we will create the top face of the box so you can see we have completed the box isometric of the box now in the top face of this box we will apply four center method again to draw the top face of the cylinder that is second ellipse so same method we will follow we have four corners over here out of these four corners we will pick those corners where angle is more than 90 degrees so this is first corner this is second corner or we can say this is first center this is second center after that we will find midpoints of these four lines so let us find midpoints so open your compass to 25 millimeters place your compass at this point and mark the midpoint of this length similarly on other side then over here place your compass midpoint of this length and midpoint of this length then from this center draw thin lines to the midpoints of opposite sides similarly from this center draw thin lines to the midpoints of opposite sides Then after that we will draw ellipse by using compass and you can see the top face of the cylinder is completely visible to us. So it means we will draw all the curves thick. So place your compass at this center and open compass to this radius and draw a thick curve over here and draw it carefully. Now after that we will use this center and radius equal to this we will draw the second curve now after that we will use this center and radius equal to this distance we will connect the previous two curves with the third curve then similarly over here use this center and radius equal to this draw the fourth curve which will connect the first two curves after this what we will do we will connect these two ellipse with a thick vertical line similarly over here we will connect these two ellipse with thick vertical line and it is a tangent to both the arcs so now we are ready with the isometric of this cylinder and one important point we have to understand that this back curve should be thin so let us make this curve thin because back edge of the cylinder this back edge is hidden behind the curved surface so we have to keep this portion this portion and this complete curve thin 
Now after this we will place dimensions, isometric dimensions. First of all let us place its diameter. So line with this axis, leave one meter gap, draw a continuous thin line. Then align with this isometric line, leave one meter gap, continuous thin line. Use your roller scale, align your roller scale with this isometric axis, roll back by 15 millimeters and draw another continuous thin line parallel to that axis. So this is isometric axis. So add closed filler weights on both sides and write 550. And we will erase extra extension lines. Then we will place its height. So for height, align your scale with this axis, leave one meter gap, continuous thin line. Align with this axis, leave one meter gap, continuous thin line. So we will place the height of this box. So that will be the height of cylinder. So draw a vertical line in between these two extension lines and draw close filled airheads at both ends. So we will mention its height as 60 over here in gothic style. So it is extra extension lines. Extension lines must be 3 to 4 millimeters only after the arrowhead. Then we will place angles. So over here draw curved dimension line, add close filled arrowheads. In gothic style and in aligned system we will mention 30 degree over here. Similarly on other side draw curved dimension line, close filled arrowheads on both sides. So in gothic style we will mention 30 degrees in aligned system. So we are ready with our answer. So I hope isometric view of cylinder is clear to you. Thank you very much.